Hi there, today we're unboxing a projector tripod stand. So this particular stand has been purchased off Amazon for just under £18. Details are in the description below if you want to have a look. Now it's actually height wise, it can go from 75 centimeters to 140 centimeters and has a five kilo loading weight. So let's have a look at the packaging. So comes like so, very plain packaging, nothing too amazing. That's the company it's by, made in China, model V2. Okay, let's open it up, see what you get. So the thing I liked about this is, it actually comes with a carry case. So let's put that out of the way. So two handles on the carry case. Build quality seems okay. Quite rigid sort of material there. Sort of a plasticky feel to it. Zip on one end, nothing on the other. So let's open it up. Okay. Nicely packed in plastic. So let me open up the packaging holding the actual tripod. Okay, that. And there's a few more bits and pieces in there. Okay, so the legs can pop out like so. It's quite straightforward. And then you've got an adjuster there that pulls that up. And then you can lock it in place like so. And then you've got an additional connector for the top. So let me reposition my camera tripod and I can show it. Okay, so I've repositioned my camera tripod so we're at a higher point so you can see this a bit clearer. Now, just to show again, just the bottom, obviously flexible all these bits so you can push them in and obviously adjustment there to push that down so i guess you could have the additional rigidity by having this touching the floor and the bottom bit but there's no rubber or anything on that so you probably wouldn't want it like that so i'll have it in that position and i'll tighten it from here and we'll have these legs expanded out completely Looking along here, you've got some branding on there, company that's actually manufactured that. And Velcro strap here, and it looks like a clip to actually keep the cables tidy. So if I pull that off, I guess if I hold it like that, I can show it does come off. If I do it like so. Yeah, just carefully push it off and then you can just push it back on like this. Okay, as well as this, if I turn that, so the top bit here, so this comes out as well to give that extra length on there. So as well as being a projector stand, you can also put a camera on there. So it comes with the adapter for that if I put it on like so and loosen that gives you a bit of maneuverability here which is great and then I've got my action camera here with the mounting point and I can just sort of turn that and just get that attached straight on the so good it's multifunctional and you can use it for more things than just a projector. Okay, so the reason for buying this projector stand is obviously to put my projector on. Now, one thing I didn't realize is my projector doesn't have actually something to be able to screw it onto. So I'm guessing it should really be there. I've taken a sticker off that was on there, which just said pass, and it doesn't seem to be there. So, bit of a frustration here. So, 
Okay, so as my projector doesn't have a mounting hole here, what I'm gonna do, got a piece of wood here, which is roughly the height of the projector. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a hole in the middle and then be able to attach that obviously onto the tripod, but to give it additional rigidity, I'm gonna drill two holes, one there and there, so it's sort of just locked into place on the actual wood. So this wood's a reasonable size in that it sort of covers the actual pads. So let me mark on there the positions. So first of all, the one here, and then the one here. Okay, and we'd probably want to go in, I'd say, just over a centimeter. So if I go for a centimeter and a half, for example, and a centimeter and a half here. Okay, and again, let's just check it. Perhaps that's too much. Let's go in about a centimeter maybe, that'd be better. Okay. Positioning wise, let me have a look from the top. Looks slightly off. So I'm just gonna do another line. Okay, and we'll go for there and there. So let me move the projector. Get some brackets here, just to avoid any sort of damage. Just put some wood here. Okay, and let's Drill it. Okay, there's one. And let's do the other as well. Okay, it's that one done. Let's just check if it fits in. just there and there. Thickness wise, it's a little bit too thick. I should have checked here. So what I can do, I can take a little chunk off there with a flat drill bit. So let me do that next. Okay, so just to show, I've drilled the area slightly larger, just to allow this to be screwed in quite easy. And it attaches on. So what we're gonna do next is just drill a hole in the middle. So I've got a drill bit ready, which is roughly the correct size. So let's get the middle. So 16 and a half. So it's just a rough one. So 16 and a half. So eight. Eight point two ish. And that is 21, so 10 and a half, so just there. That was easy. And I'll remove these bits and I'll just drill the hole in. Okay, so here we have the adapted stand. Unfortunate I had to do this really, but my own fault really for not checking the actual projector to see if there's a hole there. Works quite well, there you go. And just to show, there is a little bit of sway in there, but because
because the, the legs actually stretch out, it seems to work quite well. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of buying this particular projector stand. Obviously, do check your projector first. I couldn't be bothered to wait by returning this and getting a different one, hence why I've ended up doing this. So there you go. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.